Tony Yengeni, a veteran of the African National Congress, ANC, recently defended Julius Malima, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, on Twitter when he came under fire for his choice of shoes. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. Social media users harshly condemned Malima for wearing shoes that cost are 28 000, a purchase that many saw as at odds with his words advocating for the impoverished. Yenjini tweeted his support for Malima with a stern statement that said, they will regret what they were attempting. This comment highlights Yenjini's opinion that the criticism was unjustified and misguided and raises the possibility that the reaction against Malima may turn toward his detractors. Yenjini's tweet highlights a more general belief in political circles that disparaging personal remarks about the lifestyle choices of political figures are often used as a diversion for more important matters. Discussions about the expectations put on political officials, especially those who support economic justice and equality, with respect to their personal expenditures and lifestyle, have been sparked by the controversy over Malima's pricey shoes. Known for his outspoken support of the underprivileged and disenfranchised, Julius Malima has often portrayed himself as an advocate for economic justice. He often criticizes economic inequality and advocates for wealth redistribution in his speech. In light of this, many people find it dissonant when they see Malima wearing expensive shoes that cost our 28 000. This has led to allegations of hypocrisy. Critics contend that Malima's credibility and his dedication to the financial hardships of many South Africans are compromised by such ostentatious purchases. They argue that showing money in this way conveys contradictory messages to the public for a leader who fiercely opposes economic inequality. However, proponents like Tony Yengeni contend that concentrating on Malima's shoes takes attention away from the important concerns he brings up. They contend that using personal assaults to undermine political individuals' credibility and draw attention away from their advocacy and policy ideas is a common tactic. Yengeni's support of Malima highlights a larger worry that these kinds of attacks are trivializing political debate. The complicated expectations that are put on public figures, particularly those who want systemic change, are also highlighted by Yengeni's tweet. Politicians that support economic justice are frequently held to higher standards than their competitors when it comes to their personal lives. This situation calls into question how political leadership strikes a balance between individual liberties and popular opinion. Furthermore, wider cultural concerns about privilege, money, and the legitimacy of political leaders are reflected in the discussion around Malima's shoes. It calls into question the idea that a sincere commitment to pro-poor policy can coexist with personal wealth. Some argue that leaders need to set an example for others to follow and that flaunting their riches in public might drive away the very people they are supposed to serve. On the other hand, some people think that having money does not always mean that someone is not committed to social justice and economic change. They argue that a politician may effectively advocate for the poor without going through poverty by working to enact laws that strengthen and empower marginalized groups instead of living in poverty themselves. Once again, in a recent statement, former Chief Justice Mogoing Mogoing commended the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, for their enduring commitment to their values, despite the temptations that come with political power. He emphasized that the EFF is the only political movement in South Africa that continuously keeps its pre-election pledges, highlighting the party's steadfast dedication to its core principles. During a public speech, Mogoing made some observations on the current political situation in South Africa. No matter how many posts it offers, the EFF is the only movement that will never waver from its ideals. He emphasized that since our motivation is the desire to benefit, we are a movement that does not waver in our position. This statement highlights a growing belief among some South Africans that the EFF takes a unique stance on political integrity and governance. The previous Chief Justice's comments had a significant impact on the political ideology of the EFF. Since the party's founding in 2013, Julius Malima has continuously pushed for laws that advance social justice, land reform, and economic emancipation. The EFF has positioned itself as a radical alternative to the governing African National Congress, ANC, and other political groups by repeatedly calling for fundamental reforms to address historical injustices. Additionally, 
Mogoing emphasized that we express ourselves before elections and execute them after.